If there's one thing you can always count on, that's if a rule is made, people will find a way to break it if the spoils are worth the risk. Casinos are some of the most well-regimented and protected businesses on the planet. But time and time again, crafty players found a way to beat the house by going around its rules. In this top 5, we'll take a look at the 5 most amazing and biggest casino scams which actually worked. Snatch and Grab Roulette Scam Back in 2012, the Ohio Casino Control Commission believed a widespread roulette scam took place involving somewhere between 50 and 70 people. Players would enter the casino in groups and place small $1 bets on roulette tables. One of the group would then distract the dealer, whilst the rest stole as many chips as they could. On average, the group were landing $1 to $2,000 per job. The authorities believed the group was based in New York City and hit casinos across 18 states. The scam is in fact ongoing, with most of the group still at large and only a small handful having faced jail time so far. Contact Lenses Heading across the pond, four con artists took the poker tables at La Prance Casino in Cannes for about €64,000 back in 2011. This time it was an inside job and slightly more technical than just grabbing roulette chips. One of the con artists managed to get hired as an employee and would mark different symbols on the backs of cards with invisible ink. Different symbols were used to denote the value of the card. The rest of the group played poker and wore special contact lenses which allowed them to see these invisible symbols. This time, the entire group were eventually caught after the casino became suspicious of their continued success at the tables. The entire scam was then brought to a halt. Edge Sorting Professional poker player Phil Ivey Jr. perfected his own casino scam back in 2012 whilst playing Punto Banco at Crockford's Casino in London. In total, Ivey Jr. managed to rack up wins of £7.3 million by using a technique called edge sorting. This is where players use slight imperfections on the backs of cards in order to keep track of specific cards through the deck. The casino became suspicious when Ivy Jr. had asked to see multiple packs of cards before being happy to play. He was taken to court where he lost his plea and was forced to return the money. Ivy Jr.'s casino days were put to a stop from that point on. When he later won $9.6 million at an Atlantic City Baccarat table, he was refused his winnings and asked to leave when they discovered just who he was. Laser Sector Targeting in the most tech-savvy method on this list, three gamblers used a system of lasers and computers to pull off a sector-targeting-based heist. Sector-targeting allowed the group to calculate the falling descent of an object in motion, which came in very handy when calculating where a roulette ball would land in the wheel. Playing at London's Ritz Casino back in 2004, the group managed to get away with £1.3 million, Though the system didn't allow them to know the specific number or colour the ball would land on, it did produce accurate estimates, which was close enough. In a lucky twist of fate, when the gang were finally caught out, they had to be let go, since there were no laws specifically prohibiting the use of sector targeting at the time. The law caught up soon after, so no trying this today, guys. The ATM job Back in 2012, 14 people came together to pull off a widespread bank heist on Citibank ATMs at casinos throughout Southern Carolina and Nevada. By abusing a software glitch discovered by the group's leader, the group were able to make multiple withdrawals at 10 times the amount deposited, provided the transaction was made within 60 seconds. The gang kept their withdrawals down to $10,000 to help avoid detection and then enjoyed a high roller lifestyle at the nearby casinos. As with all these things, Citibank eventually started to notice a pattern in where they were losing their money, and so alerted the FBI. The feds quickly tracked down the group and served them all with some serious jail time. The group's leader was given a total of 57 months in prison and ordered to return the just over $1 million he stole. That's all we have for this week's Top 5. As always, you can find a new video from us every week, packed with interesting facts from around the casino world. Give us a like or dislike depending on what you thought of this video, and we'll see you next time with even more great casino facts. Thanks for watching.